Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. In the past, we've looked at some fake coins on our YouTube channel. Today, though, we're going to set our focus specifically on fake sovereigns. We're going to be looking at how you can spot them and avoid spending your hard-earned money on fake coins. But firstly, what is a sovereign? You will probably be more familiar with this design. From 1979, the Royal Mint began releasing bullion and proof sovereigns to the collector's market. The design features George slaying the dragon, as created by master engraver Bernadetto Pistrucci, who worked from the Royal Mint from 1816 to 1836. His success is evident with the design still being used over 200 years on from his original creation. The sovereign as a coin does predate Pistrucci's work though, having been first authorised as a coin in 1489 by King Henry VII, although at the time they were too large a denomination to see regular use, but it helped promote the power and majesty of the king abroad. Today, sovereigns are one of the most iconic and recognisable coins the world over, and a popular coin for investors, but this does make them targets for counterfeiters. This set is a prime example. It was purchased over many years and many hundreds of pounds spent on eBay buying the coins. When the owner decided to cash in his investment and brought it into our shop for sale, it came to light that all 11 of these coins were fake. It really highlights the benefit of buying coins from a trusted and reputable dealer like ourselves. We have expert numismatists who appraise and examine our coins before selling them, so you have peace of mind and security with your purchases. If you're looking at buying sovereigns, we at the Britannia Coin Company have our best value sovereign range. This range sees our lowest margins over the live spot price, and it will guarantee you a coin that is good to find grade and not an X jewelry mount as well. So how can you spot a fake sovereign then? Being a coin dealer, we're lucky enough to have access to an XRF machine, so we can zap the coin and check its composition. In fact, we've made a couple of videos previously testing some of the other fake coins that have been brought into us over the years, so be sure to go check them out as well. These machines are rather expensive though, so aren't readily available to your average coin collector, so what else can you look out for? Firstly, you can check that the coin does actually exist. This may seem silly, but bear with me a moment. Now there are a number of years and mint marks which have been issued in the past on the sovereign. If you have a sovereign with years and mint marks, or even designs that don't marry up with one another, that's an early clue that what you might have deserves some extra scrutiny. It's fairly common for fakes to use the wrong portrait of a monarch, or even the totally wrong monarch for the year that the coin was supposedly minted for too. The rarer the sovereign, the more scrutiny you should give it as well. Rarer and therefore higher value sovereigns are more attractive to some counterfeiters. The larger the margin they can make on a sale, the more time and precision can be invested into producing a convincing counterfeit. Forgers may also take real sovereigns and attempt to alter the detail in them in order to deceive buyers into thinking that it is rarer than it actually is. For example, the 1917 London Mint Sovereign is a rare coin. At this time, sovereigns were produced at branch mints, effectively mints in other countries that would make coins for the wider British Empire. Those made outside of London would have a letter to denote which branch mint made them, whereas there would be no mint mark on one produced in London. If a forger gets their hands on a sovereign made at a branch mint, if they remove the mint mark, they can try to pass it off as one made in London. A forger may also attempt to create or alter a mint mark or even the year of the coin, thereby taking a more common coin and manipulating it to resemble a much rarer example which they can sell for much more money. There is of course weights and measures as well. You can compare the specifications of your sovereigns against what they should be. I have here this antique sovereign scale, which would have been commonplace in shops when the sovereign and half sovereign were regular circulating coins. It firstly measures the size of the coin, with the holder being just the right size for a sovereign and to the right a half sovereign. 
Fakes that are too big or too small will look rather obvious. It also weighs them, so you can tell if the coin is underweight or overweight from the use of another metal in the composition. Lastly, it also serves to check the thickness of the coin. With a little slot in the middle of the holder, the coin should slip into it neatly if its depth is correct. Fake oversized ones will get stuck and not fit through the gap. Although now there are more sophisticated ways to measure and weigh coins, this is a neat little antique which proved very useful at the time. The quality of the design is also worth a closer inspection. If the finer detail which should be on the coin is all a bit undefined and lacking in clarity, this could be a sign that what you have before you isn't the real thing. Now of course sovereigns used to circulate, so there may be instances where the design has worn away a bit, so it doesn't immediately mean that it must be a fake, but should be a red flag to make a few more checks. Another bit of quality to check is on the edge of the coin. It can be a tricky detail to get right, and when it isn't done correctly you can easily spot a counterfeit. The milling won't be as crisp or uniform as a genuine sovereign made by the Royal Mint. And you can see the inconsistencies in this stack of fake sovereigns. There are some glaringly obvious signs to look for as well. Coins with the word copy, replica, or another countermark to signify this coin is not an original. Some are created as gap fillers rather than leave an empty space in a collection, almost like a placeholder until you can acquire a real one to replace it with. However, many more have been created with malicious intent. In fact, after the Second World War, the sovereign became obsolete in UK circulating coinage and was replaced by paper bills, but there was still huge demand for them internationally. By 1932, the last branch mint ceased production of the sovereign and the supply of new ones began to dry up. This meant, due to the continued demand for them, that counterfeiters could use real gold in their production of the coins and still make a large profit. This became huge business, with many being made mainly in Syria and Italy, but back in the UK this was starting to hurt the country's international brand. Now because the coin was no longer being minted or used in the UK, it fell into a bit of a grey area in law, and proved hard to cease the counterfeiters, so eventually the Royal Mint began production again to satisfy the international demand. The increase in supply of genuine ones brought down the value of the coin over its gold content, slimming the margins for counterfeiters, forcing them to use alternate metals, and thereby making fakes easier to spot. With sovereigns being high value coins, extra care is taken when creating them. One thing you can do as a quick check is to make sure both sides of the coin are aligned. Simply turn the coin 180 degrees and you'll be able to see whether there is any error in the rotation of the design. If there's any issue in the alignment of the obverse and reverse of the sovereign, this should set alarm bells off in your head to be a bit more careful with that particular coin. As counterfeiters are generally not able to replicate the accuracy of the Royal Mint, this is a clear indicator whether a coin could have been faked. The next tip is a bit hard to teach, but the colour of the metal of the coin should also be checked. If you're lucky enough to have a copy that you know is genuine, then comparing one to another will highlight any irregularities. It is worth noting that over time, the colour of the sovereign has changed though. With the Royal Mint now able to hone its refining techniques, aided by technology, they are able to remove more of the silver from the gold, hence why modern sovereigns aren't as bright yellow gold as say a Victorian one. Due to this, it's best to compare and contrast coins of a similar age as is possible. There's also the sound of the coin which can be a giveaway, whether a sovereign is real or not. Now I'm not suggesting that you get your proof sovereigns out and start chucking them about, but if you have previously circulated historic examples, or more modern ones that have been handled already, this is another test that you can do. Similar that if you had a handful of circulating 50 pence coins and were quickly flicking through them, one made of the wrong metal would make a distinctively wrong sound. 
Equally, if you were to place a sovereign down with a bit of a twirl on a harder surface, the coin would ring differently if it was made of another metal or if there was something else really up with it. With recent Royal Mint proof issues, these also come in presentation cases with paperwork that you can check. If you have brought pre-owned proof coins from the secondary market though, it is worth examining the coin as well in case somebody has swapped out a genuine coin for a forgery. Being one of the most iconic and sought after coins the world over, it does really pin the target on the back of the sovereign, encouraging forgers and counterfeiters to create fake versions of the coins. Sometimes if a deal is too good, it might be because the coin involved is a fake. As the saying goes, all the glitters is not gold. But by using trusted and reputable dealers like ourselves at the Britannia Coin Company, you remove the gamble and risk involved in buying these high value precious coins. So be sure to check out the links in the description of this video to have a look at our sovereign range. Be sure as well to give this video a like, we'd love to share a bit of information to help other people avoid buying fake coins. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is free to do, it means you won't miss any of our future uploads. We're also on Facebook and Instagram, where you'll see us post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok, we've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.